Hello everyone, welcome back to the community center run that I'm currently doing. My name is Colleen and in this I am just trying to beat my previous community center run time of like 40 hours and I'm trying to do it just in one year in game. So it's been going okay so far. It looks like I should be able to beat the 40 hour mark, but I'm still waiting on a cabbage seed. So that might be, uh, it, it might make things a little bit interesting. So I guess we're going to have to see how that goes. I just wanted to quickly mention as well, for these Stardew videos, I am trying to condense them a little bit more, make them a little bit shorter and just not including so many of the repetitive things. So that is why this video is a bit shorter than the last ones, but still lots of stuff going on and still the same amount of days as well. But finally getting to day 10, as you could probably see, I started out the day by going to Clint's. He cracked open a bunch of geodes and I contemplated for a while if I wanted to upgrade my axe today or if I wanted to wait to upgrade the coop. And as you could probably see, I did not give him my axe, so I am going to try to upgrade the coop tomorrow. In the meantime, I decided to chop a bunch of wood that I'm going to need for the coop upgrade, and then I realized I had some jelly, which I need for the community center. So I went over there, finished up that bundle, and grabbed the keg that you get as the reward, which is huge because at some point, I'm going to have to donate a bottle of wine, and those take a little bit to make, so it's definitely needed. So going into day 11, I would need around 10,000 gold to upgrade the coop. So luckily with all of the gold that I made yesterday, I'm almost at 13,000. So I won't need to worry about that at all. Just starting out the day as one normally. Hmm. Who else does that all the time? Like I just always plan all of my builds when, when Robin's not going to be there. But I did get a gold quality radish from the mixed seeds that I had planted. So I do actually have something that I can put into the soup or the stew, wh whichever one it is. So I guess I'm going to do this. I did say hello to everyone at the luau as well, because I'm just, I'm a friendly gal. Well, apparently a, a gold star radish will do the trick. And I bought two of the torches as well. And then I went to bed. So even though it wasn't a very eventful day, still made around 1400 gold, so not too bad. Everything just going toward future building upgrades, you know, upgrading my axe finally. There's just so much to do. Oh, lovely. All right, so spirits are not happy with us. That's fine, that's fine. Now, even if I'm cutting out a lot of the watering of crops and planting things, I'm still going to show you that I am watering my cat. So that is one thing that you can count on. Oh, and I finally remembered that I needed to turn down animal sounds and I don't think I did it right. <laughs> so we'll just see how that goes. Traveling Cart Lady has consistently not been delivering and I don't appreciate that. All I want is a cabbage seed. That's all I want in my life right now. But as you can see, I finally got to Robin's. I'm upgrading my coop. So that is extremely exciting, actually. And I did a bit of foraging and sold so many things to Willie. Then I made my way into town and I gifted Caroline a sweet pea and... I clicked through it so fast I had to show you multiple times and, and make it really dramatic to make it look like I... I wanted it to be like that in the video, but really it just would have been too fast and you, you literally couldn't see it. So anyway, uh, so level seven farming, that is great. I'm on to the next day. Before I went to bed, you might've noticed that I also donated the large milk that I got yesterday. So pretty productive, pretty productive. And then we've got the coop getting upgraded. Things are looking great other than that red cabbage. So we'll see. Big surprise, the spirits are not happy with us, but look at all these melons. Just, just look at them. 
No, I mean, actually, I, I got five gold star ones already. So donating those immediately because that was fairly easy, actually. I don't think I've ever gotten them on the first try. Dropping off my axe to Clint, so say goodbye for a couple days. We won't be chopping any wood. But I did end up fishing for a bit and just selling it back to Willy because I wanted to buy more seeds. Big surprise. Though I was pretty tame, actually. Only getting 10 corn. That's pretty impressive for me. But because it was bad luck, I just planted everything and then I went to bed. And would you just look at all of that melon money. I clicked through so fast because I was so excited. <laughs> but going into day 14, we should have our first blueberry harvest. So that will have a, just a lot of fruit. I mean, I shouldn't, I guess I don't really have to say that. <laughs> but there's going to be a lot of blueberries. You just wait and see. And then apparently, like, are you joking me right now? You stole one of my flowers from me? I have just had such bad luck with these flowers. Just such bad luck. But anyways, over to the traveling car because it is Sunday and big surprise, there is nothing. I mean, if I wanted to spend the money on the rare seed, I would, but why are you doing this to me? I need the cabbage seed. But because there wasn't anything, I went over to Marnie's and luckily she was working and I bought two ducks. One, as you can see, is named Tilbert and the other one is definitely not named Shartley. Don't worry. <laughs> he is named Little Bus. Little, little Bus. Isn't that cute? Then I bought more melon seeds because of course I did. <laughs> But to finish off the night, I decided just to farm some iron ore. I got 33 of them, so nothing too crazy. And then I went to bed. So all thanks to that blueberry harvest, we made so much gold yesterday. Which is incredible, honestly, because I'm still going to have to upgrade the coop because I'm going to need a rabbit for a rabbit's foot. And then even, you know, the wool would actually be... That would come in handy. But then I will have to do the barn too. And then it's so expensive and so... Oh my gosh. I'm fine. I, I found an ancient fruit. Or I found one. I grew one. I grew it with my own two hands. I don't need it for the community center. So it doesn't really have too much to do with this run. Other than, you know, it could make me some good money at some point. If I get a seed maker soon. But I guess I'll just get back to the actual community center run, you know, the thing that this whole video is about. <laughs> so I went and picked up my steel axe after donating some things, and then I ran over to Caroline's so that I could get the tea sapling cutscene. And of course, I'm not going to include all of it, but I did watch about half of it because it's just, I love this one. It's cute. After drinking some tea, I got some more corn and some sunflower seeds, and then I made my way over to the secret woods so I could finally grab some fiddlehead fern. Feels like it takes forever. Now imagine my distress. Imagine my sadness. When the first time I come into these woods, there's not one fiddlehead fern. So I went to bed. So finishing up day 15 with no fiddlehead fern, but a decent amount of gold. I can't be too mad at that. What's with those dwarf scrolls selling for nothing? I feel like they're pretty rare. They should be worth more. Just neutral. Nothing too crazy. They've been very either upset or just indifferent this week. To start out my day, I did everything that you can possibly imagine that I have done. So like harvesting any crops that I have, watering everything, and then clearing out this little portion here and taking absolutely way too long to chop this log so that I can go to Pierre's and buy an apple sapling because I realized maybe a little bit too late that I really need to plant one so I can get three apples for the community center. Which, I mean, technically it won't be too late, I just wish that I did it earlier. 
As you could see though, I made my donations to the community center and then I made my way back to my farm so I could just plant my little apple tree <laughs> and then I went to bed. Finishing up day 16 and I'm making almost 4,000 gold, so things just consistently getting better. Making more and more gold, I'm going to be buying up all of the coops even though I only want one, so I guess I probably didn't need to say that, but I'm going to say it anyways. <laughs> Why are they always so displeased? Well, at the very least, <laughs> we've got some wine that we can donate. We can finally put some hops into the keg and get Pam her pale ale. Finishing up a bundle, so that's always really exciting. Although, I don't know... I could probably count on my hand how many times I've used that charcoal kiln, I think is what it's called. So... But, but, but why? Why me, in particular? Why my flowers? I'm just going to bed. Despite the absolute tragedy with our spangle flowers, had a great day for gold, over 5,000, so you would think it would make me cheery. But all I can think about is the fact that two of my flowers have been killed by lightning and at least one of them has been killed by crows and then I pulled one out of the ground by accident. This feels like a great opportunity for me to mention that I really want to get the PC version of Stardew so I can get the florist mod. Um, because with my track record with everything, that's probably going to go great, right? I bet you thought I forgot about it, but I didn't. It is the moment of truth. Will we get a fiddlehead fern? And it was blending so well with the grass there that I didn't even see it at first and I truly thought that I had glitched out the game somehow and I just wasn't going to get one and I was really scared. So the second I could, I went to the community center and I donated it and then I just headed up to the mines so I could farm some stone because I'm going to need that for my building upgrades. Yeah, I'm still having a little bit of trouble with it, but you know, it gets the job done. And that about does it for day 18. So I'm finishing up with level 8 farming and I made about 4,000 gold today, so that's not too bad. If you've made it this far in the video, thank you so, so much for watching. In fact, you actually get to see my little ducklings for the first time. So thank you so, so much for being here. I hope you liked the video. And as always, I hope you have a wonderful day.